At this point, we're going to talk about how to create quizzes. So if you click on your course, you'll notice to the left the word quizzes. Click on that. As usual, you can see the plus sign, and everything in Canvas is done when you, if you want, would like to add something by clicking the plus. So I click the plus sign. And let's go ahead and go through this screen right here. So what happens is you can name your quiz. So for example, I would say annotation quiz. Here's where you put instructions. For example, however your quiz is created, you can identify that in writing here. So for example, there is only one correct answer in each question. And you can say do your best or whatever specific instruction, instructions you have. Um, so the next thing is, is quiz type. At several options, the practice quiz, which, which wouldn't be graded, a graded quiz, which obviously would be assigned a, a, a grade a percentage, um, you had a graded survey and an ungraded survey. Okay. At this point, what you can do is under options, here's where you, you can see it says shuffle answers. Now, what that means is if you have a, a um, mul multiple choice questions, um, A may turn into question D on, an, on somebody else's quiz. It's important to note here that if you have a your, out of your possible answers, the one that says all of the above, and it's D, well, that may be changed to C, and it says all of the above. So just keep that in mind when clicking Shuffle Answers. You can create a time limit um, for, for each quiz. Another feature in Canvas is that you can allow multiple attempts. And if you allow multiple attempts, you have several options. What score are you going to give that student? Is it the highest? Is it the, the latest time, the last time he took it, or he or she took it, or the average of all the times that they've taken it? You can al also allow a certain amount of attempts. At this point, in this box, this allows you to let students see their responses, um, and it allows you to delineate whether they can only use one, only once after each attempt, here, this allows you to let students see their correct answers. A, a great feature here is that you can insert a date when they actually show their answers. So say maybe you take your quiz on Tuesday, and then throughout the week you want to make sure everybody does it so they have makeups. Well then Friday, you can allow them to see it, just simply by choosing the date. And this, it's the same thing for hiding the correct answers at a specific date. This option, it'll allow you to show one question at a time, as opposed to all of them at one time. Um, here's some the quiz restriction section. If you click this, this is going to require an access code to get into the quiz. And that means that you can have a conversations with the students before they actually do take it. This sign box is for you to assign the quiz to specific students. So if I click that, I don't have anyone enrolled in my course. But if I did, that your students who are enrolled would show up. Um, at that point, you can pick specific due dates. So say a student needs um, more time um, or is available from a specific date to, to another date, say a student's sick. Um, it gives you the, the, a, a variety of options in order for you to assign a specific quiz at a certain time and when it's due. It's very important also that you hit the save button. Um, this way you'll actually, your quiz is actually going to uh, be saved and you can edit it in the future. If you don't hit the save button, you, you will not save the quiz that you just created. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and add content to our quiz. So if you click Edit, 
you'll notice the name of our quiz is, you'll notice that the name, and we're in our edit mode here, so right above the name of your quiz, you would hit questions. At this point, I'm going to click new question. It's here where you can decide which type of quiz you're, you're going to give. And you can see the variety of, of possibilities. We're going to say multiple choice for this example. And because this is an annotation quiz, an example possibly would be what is the best term to describe annotation. Okay, so here's where you put your possible answers. Uh, from here, I'm going to put dog here I will put car, here I will give another wrong answer, overwatch, and then finally I'm going to put the correct answer. It's important to note that if you click in this circle right here, it's going to open up the ability for you to uh, write anything that you'd like. For example, great job. Um, you can record or upload media to it. Pictures. Okay, so then you, you would click done. Now if you'll notice, um, the correct answer here is dog, and that's not, that's not true. So how do I note the correct answer? Well, what I do is I go to the correct answer, and then I just click on the arrow that co coincides and it will say correct answer. Now the interface knows what the correct answer is. So from there I click update question. Don't forget right here you can add another answer. Then I click update question. From here hit save And just as a quick reminder, as you can see, if you click back on quizzes, on our annotation quiz, if this gray, if this is grayed out and it's not green, like it is now, then just remember it's not published. So to unpublish it, you can uncheck it, and to publish it, you can check it, and in review, you can edit it by clicking on the gear and then edit. And so then we're back to where we were before. If you wanted to modify your questions, remember, go to questions. And here are your questions. Again, if you wanted to edit the answers, it's simply done like that. And then again, update your question. If you did change it, click save and you are done. And then remember, here's, here's where you can uh, give specific information about such quiz. So again, if I hit quiz now, it is published and it's ready for me to go ahead and assign to a module. So if we went back to module, and remember this is all a review, there's our annotation quiz. It's already assigned. If I wanted to move it up, I can do it such as that. Okay, this concludes our quiz on in Canvas how to create and add content.